from a humble guest, Tucker Tomorrow. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel. We're always having a little bit of fun there. So check it out. What's going on? You guys are always asking for AMD systems that are a great price. So check it out. Put all the parts together. We tried a bunch of different configurations just trying to figure out what was the absolute best way we could bring you guys a $600 system using AMD stuff. So check it out. My logic is kind of different than some people. Like some people say you should just, you know, go with a really entry-level motherboard and CPU and go all out in the video card like I'm kind of not of that thought because the motherboard and the APU in this case are going to be installed inside of the system I think it's much easier to change your video card out or do something like that than to pull out the motherboard and do all that stuff so with that said today's video is about the $600 AMD system featuring either a 6800k or 5800k from AMD a little bit of a price difference there will bring you some options so with that said let's jump in right now and let's Let's talk about the parts. Plus, another thing is these are going to be a series of three videos and you guys are going to like them. Why? Well, because it involves giving you guys shit at the end. Well, not literally shit. I'm not going to like go in my hands and, you know, hand it out to the crowd or anything like that. And that's not happening. We're talking about the system, matey. So today's video, introducing the parts. Next week's video, Anthony will put the system together. The week's video after that, we'll show you the guy's system up and running and doing everything. And then... We'll give it away to you guys. That's right. So that's going to be really awesome stuff. So with that said, let's jump in and let's now check out the parts that we're talking about in the $600 AMD build. So first and foremost, folks, let's start off with the motherboard. Now, I figured that because we're building a system, we want the motherboard to be very good because you want to stay in your system and be as flexible as possible. So we chose the Asus F2A85V Pro. This motherboard comes to market at about $129.49. You guys can see that back here behind me. We have it open up on the table. We actually have the CPU already installed. We use the retail cooler because we figure we're keeping this budget. We'll just go ahead and use that. If you want to upgrade it later, hey, that's your option. As far as the APU goes, we are going to use the AMD A10 5800K, which is $109.99, or the AMD A10 6800K, which is $134.99, and which is actually currently installed inside of the system. For the memory, Everybody says it's best to stick with very fast memory on AMD boards, so we chose the Crucial Ballistic Tactical Tracer 8GB, 1866 megahertz. This stuff's $111.86 right now, and you can overclock it to 2133 megahertz without any problems. The Gigabyte Radeon HD 6670 is also the video card that's recommended on the side of both of the boxes and is said to work very well with this APU. This video card will be able to play games at medium settings, no problem at all, at 1920 by 1080p, perfect for connecting up to your TV and stuff like that, has all the proper connections. Now, obviously, we're going to need a power supply to supply this thing with some power. We chose the Thermaltake TR2 430-watt PS2. This thing actually runs at about 500 watts, even though they call it a 430-watt PSU. And video cards all the way up to some of the modern 7 Series cards could actually be used with this power supply without any problems. The Thermaltake TR2 430-watt PSU comes to market at 5887. Now, as far as the case, we chose the Cooler Master Half 912. This thing comes to market at 59.99. All right, and last but not least, an optical drive. We chose the Samsung. It's coming to market at about 20 bucks. This way we can install the OS. No problem. You don't really need it for anything anymore. Everything downloads. But hey, what the heck? It's nice to have. You want to burn some CDs? It's there. Now, two options you can go with. Like we said, with the 6800K, the system comes into the market at about $594. If we use the 5800K, it's about $569. So this keeps the system under the $600 level. Also, a lot of people say, oh, the OS, whatever, the monitor, the keyboard. I think that a lot of people out there kind of have this stuff like lying around. And these are kind of parts that are easy to get. Keyboard and mouse, I mean, you can find it anywhere. And honestly, you guys always make the comments about pirating. I went online the other day and I just typed in to get a code. You can find codes online if you look for like 25 bucks. Now, I don't know exactly how legitimate they are, but they're selling it through eBay and everywhere else selling codes. I guess they have a code generator, so it must be somewhat legit. So even buying that code, you could still stick right in that little $600 limit. The reason I chose a very good motherboard is I figure it's much easier in the future just to slap a new video card in. I mean, 
If you want to take out the motherboard and change all that stuff out, I mean, that's cool, but I don't think most people want to do that. It's much easier just to go out, grab a video card, stick it in there. That 4 and 3 watt power supply, like I said, it'll support pretty much some of the lower end 7 series video cards. You're not obviously going to be able to stick a 780 Ti in there and get enough power. But hey, even with that, all you have to do is pull that out, put a new power supply in, put another video card in, and you can compete with any of that. You can compete with pretty much anything. The APU is not really going to bottleneck. It's a quad core, so it's really good to go. I see this system being very upgradable. And plus, just say you don't want to upgrade it. You can easily pull out the video card, leave the memory that's in there, and leave this thing the way it is, and pass it on down to some family member and sell it for a lower price to them using the onboard video that's already available on the 6800 or 5800K. So anyways, I like to hear you guys' comments down below. Plus, if you guys are interested, all the parts for this will be listed down below where you can check all those out. You can pick all those up on Amazon for a deal right now. By the way, these are today's pricing. They may fluctuate. Some may go down. Some may go up. But today, these are the actual prices for these things. I'm Elric. Hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hey, I see that you do so because Christmas is coming. We're giving this system away, but pff, dude, Santa's bag is... 